One of the most photographed views in Washington is partially obscured by this barrier that shields the ongoing installation of a new White House fence. The first part of the replacement barrier is already up. It's about four meters tall, almost double the height of the old fence. The posts are thicker and stronger too. They also incorporate anti-climb and anti-intrusion technology. Almost doubling the size of the fence and give it some kind of you know, blast and ram protection. So everything, all the pieces had to be beefed up. The very first White House barrier, a wooden fence, was erected by Thomas Jefferson in the early 1800s. Over the years, stone and iron fencing were added. The barriers were not meant to keep people out. Visitors often freely roamed the White House grounds. And so it was relatively easy to get inside and to go upstairs to the second floor. That's where the president worked before the West Wing was built. So you can imagine the president trying to get work done and just being besieged by office seekers, lobbyists, all types of people who would essentially stand out in the hallway and hope to get a quick meeting with the president or catch a glimpse of the president. Up until the 1920s, presidents decided how accessible to make the grounds. The United States Secret Service ultimately took control of security after three sitting presidents were killed during a 36-year period between 1865 and 1901. and 1901. Between Abraham Lincoln's assassination, uh, uh, James Garfield's assassination, William McKinley's assassination, if you, were born, if you had been born in 1840, over the course of your lifetime, you would witness three presidential assassinations. The U.S. Commission of Fine Arts worked to help balance security improvements to the new fence while keeping the barrier visually appealing. You can't just take the old design and double it, you actually have to start rethinking how they are in relation, you know, the pieces, what they're made of, how they look together. Construction is expected to end in 2021, and then attention might turn to a more comprehensive design for the rest of the White House complex, a plan that takes both security and aesthetics into account. So they can pull together what's really right now a bit of a hodgepodge. Lines of defense that won't ruin Washington's most iconic views. Dora McQuar, VOA News, Washington.